Sherlock O'Carolan, the best known Irish harper and composer, lived from 1670 to 1738. When he was 18, he contracted smallpox and became blind. He then took up the harp and spent the rest of his life traveling around Ireland, composing music and playing his harp. About 200 of his tunes still exist, and they're popular with Irish musicians of all instruments. If you've played the pieces in my Teach Yourself to Play the Folk Harp book, you're already familiar with three of his tunes. This book includes 40 O'Carolan tunes that I've arranged for either lever or pedal harp. Each piece has two arrangements, an easy A version and a B version, which is more advanced. Beginners can start by playing the A versions and progress to the Bs as their skills improve. The two arrangements can be played one after the other as a set or can be played together by two harps as a duet. The beginning A arrangements in this book tend to be a bit more challenging than those in my Christmas carols and hymns and wedding books. O'Carolan wrote most of his tunes for specific people, particularly his patrons and gentry that he met along his travels. He often used the word planksty in his tune names, which means a tribute to a particular person. Some of his loveliest melodies are tributes to important women in his life. O'Carolan fell in love with Bridget Cruz before he became blind and later wrote four tunes for her. And Blind Mary was his harp teacher. Some of his tunes are not named for people. Carolan's Concerto is one of his best known pieces. His first composition was Shebeg Shamor, and his last, written on his deathbed, was the hauntingly beautiful Carolan's Farewell to Music. Each version is either one or two pages long. Most of the pieces are in the key of C or one sharp, and two have key signatures of two sharps. Only one piece requires sharping lever changes within the music. Fingerings are included. The lowest note in the book is the G that's an octave and a half below middle C. Many of the A versions can easily be adapted for a harp with only one octave below middle C. A lot of Irish bands use this book for all the members of the group, so I've included chord symbols that can be used by the other instruments. Pedal harpists and other advanced harp players can also use the chords to add additional notes to the arrangements if they wish. The spiral binding makes this book easy to use. The music lies flat and easily stays open to the right page. A companion CD is also available for this book. I play the pieces at a much slower tempo than normal, so you can play along with the CD while you're learning. Since these pieces were written by a harper, they flow beautifully on the harp and are a joy to play.